Allah made Iman beautiful in your hearts. Allah, Allah made Iman beloved to you and He beautified it in your hearts. Now what does that mean? That means the love we have for Rasulullah is something beautiful we carry inside our hearts. But when you have something beautiful inside your heart, then it goes out. A container gives out what it contains. So what happens when somebody has the love of Rasulullah in their hearts? One of the things that happens then is anybody else who has in their heart Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa my heart becomes soft towards them too. And the only reason for that is I love the Messenger so much alayhi salatu wasalam that anybody else who has love for Allah's Messenger, I have love for them. That actually becomes an, it becomes an indication of my love for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So when a Muslim doesn't think twice about making fun of another Muslim, then there is something missing in his love for Allah's Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam. After all, the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam would love all of them the same. You know, to help you understand this easier, to give you a different example, there are people who have lost a parent. And when you lose a parent, it's a very traumatic thing. And you want to, you miss your dad, and you want to remember, you want to honor his memory, you know what you do? You go visit some of his friends. And visiting his friends and showing them respect is the closest thing you have now to the memory of your father. My dad used to love these people, so I love them. Being around these people reminds me of the one I love that I no longer see. That is actually the relationship you and I have with each other. We are actually remem reminiscing, remembering the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa who is no longer in our midst. He's no longer among us. All we have is the memory of him that is carried in each of our hearts. That's what it is. When Allah Azza wa Jal gave us this beautiful deen, then He put the red, the black, the white, the, the skin color didn't matter anymore. And the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa would tell us, just like Allah will say in this surah, إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ The most noble among you are the ones that have the most taqwa. Taqwa of Allah, consciousness of Allah is inside the heart. I cannot see it. So what makes you better than me, or what makes me better than you, is invisible. Which means we will never know. We're never gonna know. Then all we can know is we're equal. We stand equal. Somebody has, somebody looks very pious, somebody doesn't look very pious, we have no idea what's going on inside their heart. The guy that looks really religious, may be really corrupt inside, I don't know. And the guy, or he may be really great, I don't know. I have to give benefit of the doubt. Inna akramakum and Allahi atakum. Allah took the appearance of the Muslim away from this conversation. We have to treat people equally. We actually ha can't even treat people based on their knowledge. Somebody's a scholar, so you think of them as better, and somebody's not a scholar, you think of them as less. No, not in Islam. Not in Islam. Somebody is a scholar, you can respect their knowledge, that's sure. But they deserve as much respect as anybody, any other Muslim because what they share that really brings them honor is the taqwa of Allah. And the taqwa of Allah, a farmer can have it who knows nothing about Islam, who knows very, only knows la ilaha illallah and that's enough for him. And it could be a alim who's been studying 50 years, he has taqwa of Allah. You understand? So it, what you have inside your heart is what makes you superior to Allah Azza wa Jalla.